Thank you for purchasing our product. Now let me introduce this cable. The cable is completely wrapped in flame retardant materials. It should be noted that the ends of these two wires are made of metal solder to allow them withstand greater current. They are not made of second-hand parts. All parts are brand new. If you use the original factory controller, these two lines do not require installation. Please use the insulating tube to wrap the end of the wire harness. Heat for a tighter wrap. This prevents them from short-circuiting when in contact with each other. Now let's demonstrate how to use. First, power up the motorcycle and open the seat bucket. Loosen the screws to remove the entire seat bucket assembly. Note that there is a hidden plug that needs to be pulled out. Now you can remove the seat bucket. Next, turn off the motorcycle. Pay attention to how to pull out the plug. Take out the original battery. We need to remove this limit pad. In order to better put into batteries, this to sponges need to be torn off too. When installing to batteries, you don't have to worry about the installation sequence, even if they have different capacities. Just pay attention to direction. Please ensure that the first battery is inserted facing the direction of the vehicle's front. You can use this roller to slide in. Make sure it is placed in the innermost. Next, insert the second battery. Its installation direction is opposite to the first one. Align the plugs of the two batteries together. First connect the power cord to the original battery plug on the motorcycle. Put the black and red wires aside for now. We need to disassemble this part to pass the wiring harness through. Put both plugs through. Now you can reinstall this part. It should be noted that these two lines are on the sides of the roller rather than in the middle. Don't connect the plug to the power now. At the beginning of the video, we have already mentioned that. If you are using the original controller, you can wrap the red and black wires with an insulating tube. If you have modified the controller, we need to connect to the positive and negative poles of the new controller. This step will require a bit of time, as the available space for operation is very limited, and the wiring harness is relatively thick and hard, making it a bit difficult to handle. It is necessary to fix the positive and negative poles of the cable and the original Moto's positive and negative poles together on the controller, but you must be patient to install. Improper installation can lead to poor contact and severe overheating. Make sure the positive and negative poles and screws are tightened. Finally install the lid. Now you can plug the two plugs of the shunt wire into the battery. Make sure it is plugged in tightly. After plugging it in, tidy it up a bit. Don't forget that we provide cable TIs. Finally, let's power up the moto and see if it can operate normally. The 59% on the meter is the average charge of the two batteries. Below will also display the respective battery power of the two batteries simultaneously. Charging also works normally. Two batteries can be charged at the same time. If the power levels are different, the one with lower power will be charged to the same level as the other one first, and then they will be charged at the same time.